Oh, nice. Keep it basic. That's not gonna work. That's too far. He's Bionic, Bionic, Bionic arm. arm. Bionic arm. OTG. Bionic arm. Giving set. He has another chance. He's done. Oh! He's, He's human. human. Bionic. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Super Desperation Radio. I didn't, are we that good or are we that stupid? We're, I didn't mean to screw it up. <laughs> uh, you did. I did you somehow. always screw it up. I always yeah. screw it up somehow. Even when I had everything meticulously planned out eight hours ahead of time, I still fucked it up. <laughs> I, I, I like the fact that that video, the bionic arm clip, I, you go back to vanilla Marvel, and I'm like, oh, look, the health bars just look so nice. Yeah, yeah it's so man. clean. There was something that me and Gibby were discussing earlier about that clip, was like, like basically, in, in, like Marn had him dead, and he hit him with a super, like uh, uh, Sentinel uh, drones, and it didn't kill. Like, he was at one pixel, basically. And and I think in Ultimate, it might have killed him. Like, it, it might have did more damage. Like I don't know. That was like know, I never played enough Marvel to really know. I mean, I I just thought I always assumed that Marvel was a lot higher damage a, a, a game than that, and I saw that and I was like, wow, the scaling and like a vanilla was ridiculous. Well, you know, everybody always complained about that magic pixel. That's true. Yeah, too. the magic pixel was the the killer. <laughs> Saved a lot of people, In like this uh, case. combo feet. Oh hmm. my god. Boy, did it ever. But anyway, so, welcome to another exciting episode of Super Desperation Radio. As you can see, we uh, have a little bit of a different uh, approach. And it might be a little laggy because the first time we're trying it. But, uh, we're you know, we're working with it. I'm trying to make it work. Trying to make it happen. Yeah, a little, uh, a little different. I made it in time. I was just at Safeway. And I got back in time. Hmm. Oh, that's where you went. Okay. But anyway, so uh, we have a great show for you here tonight. Um, a lot of stuff happened this weekend. I watched that pay-per-view by myself, and I didn't hate it. I didn't love it, but I didn't see the whole thing. I actually missed the best matches and tuned in for AJ Reigns. So. Yeah, I mean, AJ Reigns wasn't actually as bad as I thought it would be. Like, as far as the matches went that night, they were all more or less good. I mean, well, there was a... Uh, yeah. <laughs> there were some bad finishes. Yeah, there were some weird finishes. That. That's what I'm going to say. Yeah, there were some weird finishes, but the meat of the of the product was all right, I'll say. Um, yeah, I think it's one of those things that... You know, WWF, WWE used to really value sending the crowds home happy because, you know, the last match can sort of leave a certain taste in your mouth. Mm -hmm. And and that was last night was one of those shows where it's just like, really, like, he got hit by AJ's finisher like four times and still ended up winning. Come on, guys. Yeah. Come on. And he hit him with a spear and he killed him. Yep. <laughs> it's like, all right, we'll, we'll go with that, I guess. Spear is the uh, the ultimate move in WWE anyway, right? Oh, yeah. Thank you, Goldberg. <laughs> <laughs> Put their head on a pike. Oh, man. Um, but overall, I thought it was all right. Like, I mean, uh, the, the drama stuff beside, that was that was just terrible. The, all that, everything that they did aside from wrestling last night was just awful. Jibe said Anthony mute the video feed. <laughs> I like, the how, heck? I like how I can't say Gibby. <laughs> Good old. <laughs> <sighs> Goddamn computers ruining my life. Oh man. Um. Well, yeah, like uh, the, the match that probably surprised me the most was definitely it was on a pre-show and it was Ryback versus Kalisto. That match was so good; it had no business being on a pre-show. I almost think they did it to troll them because he complained about it last time. 
you know, honestly, they've had about a million matches. They better be able to put something together that's entertaining. No, yeah, totally. But that that was definitely like it. It, it just kind of felt like, you know, they're gonna do something special because they, like you said, they've been to get, they've been doing matches back and forth for almost two months now. Uh, what are you building up towards? You know. <laughs> yeah. Well, and the thing about it is, is it really shows the. I don't want it, like the power or or the the quality you get from two guys when they have to work together a lot. And what's funny is you figured that there's still house shows and spot shows where a lot of guys are working together, but in a lot of cases it just doesn't show itself when it's on television or on the pay per view. Nah. But these guys these guys have started to mesh, so that's good. Yeah, I think that they've. Uh... You know, a big guy working with a very agile small guy, you know, those are usually good for some ridiculous spots. And they had a couple last night. So yeah. maybe, maybe they'll oh, move quickly. them up. Hmm? Just a quick aside. Uh, I've heard some people are getting echo in uh, from the stream. I don't know if anybody else is or if it's just one or two people. Yeah, so. I don't know what that's coming from. Uh, I, don't either. I don't think there is. I'm, 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 hear I'm hearing it, but I don't know who's the source. I don't know. Oh. I, um, hmm. Did you deafen or at least mute maybe the Skype? Are you re are you hearing it from yourself? The Skype feed is muted. Yeah. Who knows? By the way, guys, we might have to go back to Skype. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> hey, no, we, we don't have to go back to Skype ever. No. This, we really don't. This setup works. It's doing it's doing its job. It's doing its job, but we gotta we gotta worry about things like you know, am I running too many apps and that's what's calling slowdown and everything and blah blah blah. So well, it could simply be that somebody basically some one of us has the volume in their headset too loud that's coming through their mic. It just be something that simple. Is that me? Hmm. Nah, that's not me. Uh, people don't hear echo. I don't know. All right. Well, some people, some people don't, and that's weird. This is this is what's great about this. Now that I got video, I don't like nobody has to like look at you know like a, a static screen and just wonder what the fuck's he doing back there. You know what I'm doing back yeah, there. Yeah, but right? it's really weird for us because I see all of you guys talking way out of sync, and it's just actually making me feel like I'm crazy. <laughs> pause the video. It's all right. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to. Uh, yeah. But. No, that's so good. yeah, overall, I guess the pay-per-view, I missed most of it because obviously I was up at Northwest Majors, so I just caught a few. Luckily, uh, Slash tweeted at me, and he's like, hey, I'm running the stream, but we also have payback on back here. So, <laughs> Check he's it like, out, if you trying to come over here and watch the payback, I got you. <laughs> just groaning and shit. So. Fucking Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Look, uh, we don't need to revive dead things, right? Oh, man. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. No, so I, I'll, I'll give this uh, I'll give this pay-per-view a 6 out of 10 stars. I mean, that's not bad. No, it's not bad. I think it was a solid pay-per-view. I think, you know, for all the things that they've done in the last couple of months, this is... Pretty good. I, I I took away points because they used the Wyatts as the advertising gimmick, and they weren't even there. And that's just you know you know I'm a, I'm well, a ding for that. Well, once Bray got hurt, I think everybody had to know that they weren't going to use them. I knew they weren't going to use it, but I was just like, can you just like not put them? I mean, they probably filmed that like months ahead of time, and they had nothing else to work with, so I'm fine with that. But at the same time, I'm just like, uh, like way to just just drive it in my back, you know. Like, I'm just sitting but, here trying to like enjoy my life and <laughs> Nah man. No enjoyment. It's not happening. But uh but other stuff happened, as you mentioned, Northwest Majors went down. Uh yeah. you know, another year, another brutalized uh team of people showing up to lose guilty gear, Street Fighter Five and other games. Uh you know, again it was one of those things that I heard that there were some complications with streaming of games like KI, but it, obviously, you know, I was upstairs in uh, basically the anime corner, so we didn't have a lot of problems. From what I saw, uh, it actually got to the point when we were trying to, when they were streaming pools on Saturday, they got ahead of time to where they're like, we have this stream time, 
And uh, we almost are going to have to start running all these matches because they were just too far ahead. That's like a, an issue that's happening a lot this year. I don't know, but they had a, they had a, a bunch of people really all just running around with clipboards. They were all pretty well organized. Guys like uh, Core and Dave O and the stream team, you know, did a great job. They always had good commentators on, or at least commentary was always there. <laughs> I mean, I mean I've, 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 I I've heard some the conflicting reports. You know? I can't, I can't <laughs> say I have watched everything, but I definitely heard some conflicting reports about stuff. Uh, well, see, that's the thing is, I could, I could only hear a little bit when I was up at the stream station. So, I don't know. I get it, yeah. But, um, no, yeah, this is a really, really good show. Really well ran as usual. Uh, the Street Fighter tournament was pretty on edge, exciting. Um, I saw some of the Guilty Gear stuff. Shout outs to GC Yoshi and Zidane putting on great grand finals. Yeah, I gotta say, as much as I hate three out of five, and I will once again here state three out of five for top eight, all of top eight sucks. There were some really good matches in there. Mm hmm. Like GC oh. Yoshi almost running it back after resetting the brackets. Like that actually got people that I know that don't even watch Guilty Gear. And yeah, sure, they were they were they were tuning in because they expected Street Fighter Five to be starting soon. But they were watching and they were like, Oh man, like, you know, this is pretty exciting, you know? And they're like, My friend my friend sends me a text and he's like, What the fuck is Bedman? <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, he's a bed. <laughs> I, told, I just told that's Honestly, a dude, dude laid on the bed. <laughs> I honestly feel like uh, that's most like Guilty Gear players' reactions to that too. Like, what the fuck is Bedman? Yeah, what the, the fuck, fuck is, is Bedman? <laughs> like, how do I fight this guy? He's coming out here and he's just throwing stuff and some other shadow Bedman is throwing. What's going on? With, you got you have a, a really unique combination of things, which is that Bedman is not a very played character on the West Coast. And you have a guy who, like GC Yoshi, who's putting a lot, who has put a ton of time in it. And I don't want anybody to think it's just because people don't know this matchup. No, it's just that Yoshi has really been grinding out this game. After he basically was just like, uh, I mean, Marvel's cool and all, but I think I'm going to play this Exert full time. Yeah. <laughs> so he's really put a ton of time into the character. And he just, he has setups that people just kind of look at and they're like, um, I don't actually know how I got hit, but good shit. I know that it's, it's feel, I'm feeling terrible right now, you know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I am not happy about this. Oh, man. No, it was just great to watch him play. Um, and it's, it's great to see how, you know, Zidane adapted to his uh, play style and, you know, didn't allow himself, you know, sort of fold into like a paper cup as fucking Tony. Are you seriously playing that right now? <laughs> yeah, he is. He is. <laughs> I'm still paying attention. Keep going. All right. Fine. Uh, but yeah, it was it was a great it was a great uh, exercise and uh, two players adapting to each other over long sets and you know just straight uh, skill and playstyle winning out overall. Of course, at the end, I can't help but wonder if it was because Re Revelator that GCL she screwed up that blitz counter. Yeah, I don't know. Like they said it on commentary, he held it too long, and then he did like you know the the uh, generic charge move that uh, you get in Revelator. Whereas in Sign, you don't get that. It's just straight Blitz Shield, and you get to do whatever you want. So he might have hesitated, but he's obviously used to not having to worry about you know how long how long he's holding those buttons. I think I would have to go look at it again because in the moment I wasn't, I was only half watching. But there was actually a bunch of that over the weekend with people. Well, I bet. It looked like people were trying to use charge blitz and getting normal blitz and vice versa. And then sometimes they would try to use charge blitz, but then whether it was their unfamiliarity or they weren't sure exactly how a situation was going to play out, they would do full charge blitz and they'd like go under the other person or cross themselves up somehow. So. Man, that sounds like such a pain in the ass. You know, it's funny. I talked to uh, Zidane after Top 8, and he was talking about how stressful Top 8 was. He said, you know, at Evo, during Top 8, he wasn't even that stressed out, but he said this Top 8 was super stressful. Ooh. So he, he just said there was a lot of matches that he was not sure. He actually said he expected to lose to uh, Faulty mm. when they played, but 
he got the better of him. And then it happens. So. Sometimes you uh you just come at a guy when you're having a good day, you know? Yeah. And that's the thing is I felt like there weren't in top eight, there weren't a ton of blowouts or people it didn't look like anybody was getting a free ride. It looked like there was just there were some big comebacks in sets, don't get me wrong. But I'd say the, I'd say the one big thing that I know Kid Viper would love to have back is that last combo. Where oh, he just, man. that last <laughs> drop and Mr. K tacked out and got him. Oh. So That's like that, that's the, that's the way you lose a match, like you lose a round in long sets where you're just like, you, you've just been playing back and forth for like 20 matches and you drop it and he kills you and you're just like, ah, whatever. But in this case, it's top eight and you're just like... I'm fucking exhausted. <laughs> well, and you know, honestly, with Johnny only being out for a month, you know, I, I do think he does have that excuse to an extent. But again, it's also one of those things, you know, you see people drop big combos at high level when they've been playing the character for a long time too. Oh yeah. So it's tough. It happens for sure. Yeah. But I know he wants that one back. I know it. I mean, cause he got off the stage after and you could just tell he was just like, Ah, uh, that's some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of wonder how, like, you know, like, 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 speaking of which, Julio, I wonder how Julio felt just like, like, did he want those two fireballs back at the end? You know what's funny is, honestly, I didn't even watch SF5. Dude, all right, so. <laughs> After gear, we all dipped. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, wow. like, oh, the brain power is just like, whatever, we need some We eat. literally all just dipped and went to go eat. Oh, I hear that. Well, I mean, at the end of Street Fighter V's Grand Finals, um, uh, to Julio, having not really thrown a lot of fireballs the entire time, decided to throw a couple at the same time that Justin Wong had finally decided to start jumping forward. Um, yeah. And I don't know if it was... I don't think it was a read. I think it was just like... There was no reason for him... Well, there was plenty of reasons for him not to jump forward, but he just did anyway, right? Because he was definitely like... Wait, he was basically, basically asking to be hit with a DP. And... Julio threw a fireball at a very unsafe range. Eight, you know, maximum uh, damage uh, punish combo. And then got up and did the same shit again. <laughs> well, you got to remember, Justin is not very known for playing super aggressive like that. No, I know. And like... it could it could have just been the simple fact that he got hit by it once. And he's like, Justin ain't going to jump. It's Justin. He's not going to jump, Justin's jump like, forward. Justin's like, I'm fucking jumping. Uh, jump oh, here forward, it comes. Like, the two times the entire weekend that he jumped forward were like at the perfect moments, and Julio read each situation like completely wrong. Sometimes that's how you win tournaments, though. No, yeah, that, that's pretty much what sealed it. And I was like, I mean, you go, you, you do that, you go home, and you're wondering, like, I've never thrown a fireball in my life, and I picked the worst possible moment to throw two in a row. <laughs> Yeah. Like, I was telling my boy then, Gordon, you know, that I was just like... just happens sometimes, though. No, yeah, it does happen. Obviously, you know, Julio has a game plan that, you know, doesn't always involve throwing unsafe fireballs. Instead, in, involves throwing unsafe DPs. And, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, I... I'm They're only through. unsafe, man, if they get blocked. Remember that. No, yeah, he was... I think he was a little on tilt yesterday, man, because, like, there was that one point where, like, he was just down backing... And Justin was just standing in front of him and just did forward medium kick for the overhead, and Julio, Julio ate it. And the worst thing about that is when when Karen hits you with that overhead, she gets nothing off of it. Like, you don't get no. anything either, but she gets nothing. It's just like, <laughs> bam, I got gotcha, you. You know? Yeah. So. It could have just been, you know, like uh, long sets. It could have just been maybe he hasn't played Justin that much. I honestly don't know. No, it's possible, so. yeah. There's a lot of things that could happen in that situation. And, and Street Fighter Five in general was just, you know, a great tournament to watch. Uh, top 8 was amazing. LPN with the near hero story uh, for um, picking Alex and doing whatever the hell he wanted. Uh our Alex actually not believing he was making the proper choices during the match, but still almost made a almost had a victory against Champ. Who? Uh, Man, you talk about you talk about crowd favorite. Dude. I got to go back to gear for a second. The crowd was totally behind Bedman and GC Yoshi in that grand final oh, I set. I bet, man. Like, people love GC Yoshi for some reason. I was like, I was like, damn, did all the NorCal come out? <laughs> We talking about NorCal hates GC Yoshi too. He's an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> guess he. I guess he's their favorite asshole. I mean, oh yeah, totally their favorite asshole, man. 
Like we we wouldn't trade him for the world because we want to kill him ourselves. Oh wow. Uh, but yeah, no, that, that was cool to see like a crowd behind them and just to see a crowd behind Guilty Gear in general is always fun to watch. Uh, you know, you had like, uh, so many good players from the West coast that actually didn't even make top eight, which would surprise me. I actually lost a couple of, uh, what I call theoretical bets with myself. Uh huh. Like those, basically I lost those like rough draft pocket picks. (laughs) (laughs) Like, Beautiful Dude wasn't in top eight, or at least not, and uh, he didn't go as far as I expected him to. So I was just like, mm-hmm. well, that would have been like, you know, at least $200 out of my pocket. So it was it was pretty funny because, uh, was it right? Right at the start of top eight, OAR Raf from Texas apparently made a tweet saying who he thought was going to win each of the matches in top eight for the first round of top eight. Oof. And was completely wrong. <laughs> like, it was, it was a complete reverse sweep. <laughs> So the exact opposite of pocket picks. Yep. Mm. No so the normal at pocket all. picks. The normal pocket picks, like the ones I don't tell anybody about. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. No, that, that's cool though. And I, I, I guess people have been saying for Northwest majors that the venue's cool. The venue's great, but it's very clearly growing in popularity. I mean, they've had they had a lot of viewers this weekend. Well, and it, it wasn't just for Street Fighter. We had a pretty big turnout for Gear too. I know that before before last minute or day of regs, there was over 100, which is like 104, 105, which we got about that last year. But we also had, you know, obviously, we had some big names in the house from Japan. And I was honestly not expecting that many this year, but we still got it. So that was really cool. And I think that was another one of those signs to the organizers that gear is becoming a sort of a marquee game for them. And they put us on at a marquee time, which was awesome. Yeah, man. Like, uh, second to last is like, it's pre- it, it must be pretty awesome, especially with like, you know, Marvel being there and it usually gets it like just by default. So yeah. I, I like that they were able to take, they were willing to take that. I wouldn't even call it a risk. I'm like, I'm glad they were able to make that decision. You know? Yeah. I think some people just default to it because they're just like, oh, it's a Street Fighter and Marvel, guys. I mean, those are the cornerstones of the FGC. And I'm like, nah, man. There's so many other people involved with this right now. So. Speaking of Marvel, shout out to KBR for, uh, you know, ruining everybody else's weekend again. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't watch it, but I heard he pretty much destroyed everyone. Yeah. I don't know if that's accurate, but he definitely won. It was convincing. <laughs> Okay, I, so yeah, I don't know if I would say it was total destruction, but it was definitely convincing. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it, people just didn't believe he was good. I mean, I don't believe he's good in KOF because I can body his ass, but, you know, Marvel is his shit. <laughs> ah, yes! <laughs> I'm out of beer. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is where the show goes downhill, anyway. <laughs> I thought the show went downhill when he started drinking. When I started drinking, no, the yeah, like, the show the show went downhill four years ago. years ago when we started it, <laughs> and it's just been rolling down that hill. I thought you were about to say when when Alex and I joined full time. <laughs> yeah, I mean that didn't help. Goddamn, the the hill just got steeper from there, and just uh, you just know. trying to push that boulder up there, man. It just like keeps rolling back down <laughs> in my face. Sometimes, sometimes when you're already rolling downhill, you need a good push, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Speaking of Alex, he told oh, you. Oh shit! Whoa, wow. The other reason he that we're rolling down past he died playing Overwatch. So. <laughs> he died. Oh, he died as he lived playing Overwatch. <laughs> Man. Man. Speaking of Overwatch, we have two beta keys to give out this week. Uh, one for PS4, the other for PC. Uh, we're going to be giving them out at the end of the show to people in the stream chat at random. Thanks to. Uh, Spiron and the Hound. They will be sending you these things via Twitch chat or Twitter DM. So you better follow them on the Twitters. <laughs> uh, the Hound. Everyone should know who the Hound is because he's 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 the Hound, right? He's like the greatest yeah. Photoshop master ever. Like something yeah. just current events, and he's already either got a picture for it, and he just slaps it together in like five seconds. Yeah, like I don't, I don't even do that. I just like green shot that shit. I'm like, hey, I write something funny about something happening on stream right now. How talented am I? <laughs> you know, honestly, he has to share that title with Baffo. 
Yeah, Baffo gets it in too, yeah. Ba Baffo, I mean, normally his are all just like Lord Knight photoshops, but he gets it in. <laughs> they're good. That's about, even if it's just one person, they're still good photoshops. Yeah. I don't even have so. time to photoshop it and just... I barely installed Photoshop and it's CS2, so I'm like totally not used to it being so. Old. I don't even know how to use Photoshop, right? <laughs> I don't. I don't even think I know how to open the program. So I, I made this overlay in Photoshop. Like <laughs> that's probably why it's not working. Yeah, that's what it could be. <laughs> Fuck. I just realized so, did anything else happen at Northwest Majors? Um, I'm sure a lot of people. Had Tekken, a lot of fun. Tekken Seven was there, and Tekken Seven was sick to watch. I saw, I got to watch Faded Retribution in person, and Akuma looks weird. How so? Because he just looks way bulkier than the rest of the cast. Like, he actually looks like they took his Street Fighter 4 model and just sort of, like, prettied it up and upscaled it for Tekken 7 in a lot of ways. <laughs> new, new textures and... Yeah. So... I've had people tell me other things, like, I, they've said he looks pretty good, but to me he does look like he fits. I mean, I was, I was prepared for that. I think I was, you know, I think a lot of people were just like, this is going to be really awkward because you've got a projectile-heavy character in a game with no projectiles. Yeah, I mean, we'll see how it goes. It looked like people were having fun messing around with him, checking him out, so... You know, some people said that he does crazy damage and whatnot, and I was like, yeah, that sounds about right. Now, <laughs> the interesting thing here is um, with the occlusion of uh, Goki slash Akuma in Fate of Retribution. The collusion. <laughs> the collusion. <laughs> the collusion of Goki Retribution. Goki Retribution. Um, they've basically halted Tekken Cross Street Fighter. Yeah. Yeah. Like. Is that the reason they I stopped it? I don't know if it's the reason, but it's pretty. Like, I mean, we all suspected this shit was going to happen either way, right? We didn't. They haven't been talking about it, and a few times they did talk about it. It was just like, oh, don't worry, guys, it's still coming. You know? Yeah. We promise. Andy Go goes on the fucking back burner. I can't um, wait to see uh, Tekken Cross Street Fighter Guile combos. All right, all right. So, in the in the grand tradition of Duke Nukem Forever versus the next Half Life, what do we get first? Tekken Cross Street Fighter or Mighty Number no. 9? I was literally about to ask that. Well, Mighty Number no. 9 supposedly has gone gold. So. No, it's, it's. No, no, no. The console ones are coming out in, was it June or July? But the, the handheld ones still aren't dated, so we can bet on the handheld one. Oh, okay. Hmm. I vote Toe Jam and Earl. Damn. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to go crazy. with. I'm gonna go with uh, the new River City Ransom game. Yeah, that's oh, what I was wow. gonna go with, man. Like, I don't even know if that's Ooh. ever even gonna come out at all. Shit. Like, talk about a sad story. Every time they come up with a good idea, like, you know, Arx is like, by the way, we already did it better. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, check out this new one. We got super moves. <laughs> uh, let's see. My bet, Mighty Number no. 9, or. I don't know, man. Everything, everything else that's been on Kickstarter has pretty much like been pretty consistent about coming out. The only thing I can think of that would be like you know, maybe Dim's fighting herds gets killed <laughs> again, <laughs> again, again. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't anyway, like we. But, but what I'm saying is like we definitely. Everybody suspected that Tekken Cross Street Fighter was just going to be vaporware. Um, and I think that's why a lot of people were just, you know, not even willing to talk about it. You know, with Street Fighter Cross Tekken, a lot of people were doing a lot of speculations. And, you know, obviously releasing the video helped with that. But with Tekken Cross Street Fighter, like, you just, I think people just forgot it was an idea. And apparently so did Namco. Well, you know, that's kind of the funny thing is, is that everybody did sort of forget about it. And then they were like, oh, it's not coming. Don't worry about it. But then Harada did that interview and he's like, oh, it's still coming. Yeah. And then people were like, really? Like, okay, I mean, if you're saying it's coming, and then they're just like, the other day, they're like, nah, not really, though. No, 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 I should have told you guys that. I think I might have spoken out of turn. Like, oh, okay, well. Right. Nobody's mad about it. 
What's like the practical like ramifications if they don't do Tekken Cross Street Fighter? Like, is there has I to be some sort of deal? Contractually obligated, right? where like yeah. we made Street Fighter Cross Tekken, you have to make Tekken Cross Street Fighter at this point. Yeah, like, well, but I is mean, there like a buyout option where they're just like, oh god, you know like, what? Capcom Maybe they can get by. <laughs> it's just like I don't know if this is what the stipulations are, but is it like, all right, we're making Tekken Cross Street Fighter beat mania for you know the phone all right it's out boys we're done <laughs> i'm just like i'm just like imagining like ono oh calling harada and leaving messages on his phone like we had a deal harada <laughs> harada's just like look look goki's in uh tekken 7 uh <laughs> good enough <laughs> uh hey Oh my god, yeah. I he's mean, like Street Fighter, right? Later. I mean, he basically, yeah, he basically is Street Fighter. And then, and, and the, that's why I say it's such weird timing, because that comes out, and then they basically remove the hope of the other game ever coming out, and it's just like, you basically just did it. They just name his character Street Fighter? Yo, <laughs> that would be the best. Or they make a beat him up Tekken Cross Street Fighter 2010, you know. <laughs> Street Fighter, Tekken Cross Street Fighter Force? Oh man, no. <laughs> let's, let's never talk about Tekken Force ever again, man. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, Thought we were all friends. talk about Tekken Ball. Tekken Ball. Okay, Tekken, Tekken Ball is pretty fun. Yeah. That's legit, yeah. That, that would fun. actually be really cool if they made a full fledged, like, just a bunch of sports games using Tekken Cross Street Fighter. You know, like Mario and, and Sonic at the Olympic Games ham it up, but with, like, fake sports, you know? <laughs> uh, <laughs> and Kuma go to the Olympic Games. Like,. No. You can have that, and then you can have, uh, you know, brick breaking or car destroying, and then, you know, you can totally rip off SNK and have, like, bottle cutting. <sighs> you know, just. That'd be pretty lit, chop actually. Them up. You know what you know, obsessed uh, me about guys, this? Air Guys Beach Games, you know? All right. Get up. Go get <laughs> <jam> the flag. <laughs> like, this is what gets me about this. Anthony's the one recommending this. This guy was just playing Crash and the Boys about an hour ago. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes. He could have recommended a Crash and the Boys esque type game. Between the two uh, IPs. That's because I just want more arcade style silly like sports games. I'm really tired of like, hey, do you guys want to play a football game? Well, guess what? Since EA has the Madden title, you're never getting anything cool again unless they make something kind of like another NBA Jam. But people care too much about teams that, you know, realism is whatever. But if you make an NFL game or like a football game, it has to have the teams. Otherwise, Motherfuckers ain't gonna give a shit about it. And that really bugs me. That's not even true because Northwest Majors taught us that one round of fucking Techno Super Bowl is the fucking hypest shit you've seen in a while. Okay, okay, okay. I have I have some beef with this, however. There, there is some beef. When other dude won and reset the bracket, they should have played a different game. Oh, that's true, yeah. Because that's a new round. Uh, I, I guess technically you're right. Hmm. It should have been Mutant League football. <laughs> Double or nothing. Mutant League hockey. League football, man, hockey, yeah. That'd probably be even more of a, a drop-off. I don't know, something. Road Rash. Fucking don't Mutant they, Road Rash. Yeah, don't they do the same thing at UFGT Combo Breaker Mystery Game Tournament? I was told that they actually, in, tim in cases of reset, they switch games. But I don't know for 100%. So I'm trying to remember. Uh, did, did Josh reset that Icebreaker thing? Oh, don't break the ice. Uh, yeah. No, I'm pretty sure that's how he lost. Okay. So I remember he lost because of that. I just don't remember if he was set and they played again. Yeah, it really should have been changed, but fuck it. It, it didn't happen. They should have just made the Hyper Dragon Ball Z tournament. Also, Josh yes. said after the fact that he didn't have a start button on his stick, so he couldn't t call a timeout. Oh, oh what? <laughs> he should have called this earlier. What the I don't hell, know what to man. tell you, man. Yeah. He just told us that. Dude, all right, so I'm mad because he, he he hits me up, and he's like, dude, give me the dirt on Hyper Dragon Ball Z. And I'm like, oh, God, I've been waiting years for this, you know? So <laughs> I, I just unload all this tech on him. He's like, oh, it's okay. I'm playing Techno Super Bowl. I'm like, what? No! You would have chosen one. You're going to make this shit legit. I already did that on Mondo stream. I body people, man. You still haven't played me yet. You need to come at me. Like, give me some money. Dude, we, oh. we, turned on, we turned on the stream Saturday night, and I saw that game, and I'm like, yo, this is Chris's shit. I bet he's getting hyped. Dude, I was losing it, man. I was watching it just going like, oh, my God, these guys don't even fucking play this game. Let me in there, please. Man. Put me it's in, It's really coach. unfortunate because of, like, the shift that I work now. I can watch, like, zero streams, <laughs> especially I'm like, 
all right, KVO, you know, Japan time, oh, wait. I work the exact time the tournament's going on. When I get home, it's over. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, That's too bad, dude, because cool. KVO is pretty sick. I mean, first, yeah. first KOF 14 tournament in the world history. Uh yeah, and I got Rob. That was that was a long <laughs> tournament. <laughs> I said, Fuck that really quick. I got to give shout outs to Clockwork for getting second at Marvel. I can't even no, 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 no. I, I, I'm upset. I wanted him to get first. I mean, but, I wanted him to get first too, but Cross has, I guess, become his demon. Yeah, that's that's exactly what I was saying. It sucks so much. Like when I saw him, I'm like, oh, what, what? He's in top four. Oh, fuck yeah, he's got this. And he's like, well, but I gotta go up against Cross. The guy kind of sort of took me out at uh, Evo. It's not a big deal. Yeah, and then I not this is not a joke. I just looked away from the screen for maybe a minute, and he was already down two zero. Uh, I was I just lost. I was like, oh, fuck just Christ. one God bad button press after another, man. I was so sad. What happens really when Clockwork actually wins, though? Like, is this, like, literally, like, like somehow if he wins, like, the universe is going to end or something like that? Because I want Clock to win. No, Clockwork doubt, like, is the ultimate underdog. Uh, if he wins, the story has to actually end. Oh, man. He won it all. He overcame the odds. Wait, so he's Ash Ketchum? Uh, no, not quite. He's, like, he's, like, he's the main character forever. in, like, a. What'd you say? He said he's 10 years old forever. <laughs> <laughs> he can't age until he wins a Pokemon tournament. It's just whenever he finally wins, you know, like, that 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 whole story just has to conclude. It's like some bad fighting manga, you know? Like, once <laughs> the he's never finally ending the best, story. that was it. I mean, I would say that story ends and then another one begins, like, 15 years in the future, where, like, Clockwork has become, like, a bitter old villain and, like, you know, don't ever <laughs> win. It ruins your life. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine like Clockwork just like being the head of CEO of like some company like straight up like you know Senator Armstrong status where like he's like I'm gonna control the world now for the better I'm a winner <laughs> why does this sound like you're just talking about like Shady K like wow. old Shady K and new Shady K like he's just all of a sudden, you see like Shady K. You know, you do, you hit the time skip, and Shady K looks completely different. And he's just chain smoking cigarettes outside the venue. <laughs> Kids, I have all the stress, but you don't want the stress. Look what happened to me. <laughs> it's a real danger, man. You gotta be careful how you win. You never. <laughs> but nah, so like Clock got second place. You know, it was still it was still good. It was still good. I mean, it was good. He, it looked like he was going to make a nice comeback in uh, Grand Finals, but Cross put an end to it. Put he, him went in with, uh, he went with Strider Point Virgil Anchor, which is strange, but it kind of worked, I guess. It worked and it didn't, but uh, obviously I'm not in his shoes. I don't understand Marvel as well as he does. I don't understand Marvel very well, period, but hey, he did his thing. He was banking on it to win and... It got him far. It got him to the end. He just couldn't pull it off. I was so mad. Hey, man. So mad. I went downstairs, ate an entire bag of chips. God hey, it happens, like, dude. Dude, trust me. Big I, ass I, bag of I chips. I do that all the time. <laughs> Daniel got me all depressed and everything, and I just had to had the depression eat for a bit. And... Oh, man. Is that when you had man. that sweet fried chicken? No, oh, that was yeah. earlier today. <laughs> Speaking of Popeyes, yeah. That state fair <laughs> chicken is... It's whatever. It kind of tastes like a corn dog chicken. Oh. Yeah, yeah. It was whatever the the mustard sauce that came with it. I didn't really like on its own, but together it was like, eh, you know, whatever. It was all right, but uh, yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't anything I would really recommend. It wasn't bad. But it was just I'd rather just get spicy tenders or something else. Uh, but going on with that, I want to cater n next year at NCR. Maybe you know, actually cater in. The Popeyes instead of having to go do it, get like the feeds fifty people kind of deal. Take it up to the hotel room. Oh boy! So you want to basically you do what you did with the uh, so instead of a bootleggers convention, you want to have a caterers convention. Well, they're gonna bootleg. I'm gonna cater the bootleg event. Oh hey, yeah, that's we'll, we'll yeah. see how it goes down. I am definitely a fan of that. <laughs> You gotta have some chicken when you're getting drunk. I mean, you do because we saw what happened when I didn't have chicken and I got drunk. <laughs> 
You're gonna go out like Colonel Sanders. I'm too drunk to taste this chicken. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. But yeah, KVO also uh showcased, you know, like I said, the the first uh KOF fourteen. And uh the, the first KWF 14 tournament ever. Um, and I didn't get to watch all of it because they ran freaking casuals for like two hours. Like, I'm in the gym and I'm checking it out. Every time I turn it on, it's more casuals, more casuals. Um, there's archives, obviously, up. You can go check them out if you want. Um, I think God O'Ray has them up. Uh, I don't think there's an official archive yet, is there? There is um, SNK link to it on their Twitter. I believe the Japanese Twitter. I don't think it's on the G-Man whole one. Okay, but uh, just go check one of the one of their two twitters, and it should be up there. Yeah, um, I mean, just from from an early outset, you know, Terry looks amazing. I'm so happy that Terry is finally decent again because they really fucked him up in uh, previous versions. Um, <laughs> I did not really. I don't. I, I don't want to like. Obviously, I'm feeling. I'm still feeling good about this game, but there's still some issues with it that I have. Uh, a lot of it stemming around, you know, just general movement and whatnot. Um, we were talking about it a little bit last night, where we were saying like, you know, hit stop looks like you know they just did it a day ago. You know, like they just programmed <laughs> it a day ago. Uh, people get hit, they freeze, and then they just float backwards at a really low pace, slow pace. Um, there's really no feeling of like massive impact like you got in previous games. Uh, then obviously this can change because it's all a work in progress, and we still got you know three four months before it comes out, so there's nothing to be too worried about. And I think that the game still looks pretty fun. Um, if you're thinking about trying it, I would you know don't be scared off by my words. You know try it out for yourself. But uh, you know still hype for that cast, man. That cast is looking so good. Everybody yeah, there is everybody. looking great. Uh, I want to see King of Dinosaurs tearing it up uh, even more so than before. Uh, yeah, I think it was his EX grab. It does like hits as he runs, and then he just grabs you. So like, even if you block and don't like jump out or blow him back or something like that, you're gonna get thrown. That was cool. Zets Mets Hurricane, baby. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I, yeah, he I looks mean... fun. He is the character that uh, most people. He and Basically, him, Nelson, and Banderas are the characters everyone seems to be interested in playing. Yeah, those characters look super interesting. Um, I, like, a lot of people have finally realized that you know Nelson is not Vanessa. He's actually pretty unique for a character because he technically only really has one special move, mm -hmm. and all everything else is just string of command normals. Which is, I mean, I guess that's kind of like Vanessa because she's got like you know stand, seed, and four day, and that does stuff. But that's in this what every KOF character has. <laughs> no, but hers like knocks uh, down. You, and you gotta hers explain it down. more to Angel because she has the same shit where she does a move into another move into another one. Yeah, well, I was gonna say that in, in Vanessa's case in Eleven, it actually led to a hard knockdown, so that was like you know a legit strat for her. But like in this case, his goes like in in the separate chains. You know, it's that's all it is. You know, I, I hate to interrupt, but I'm watching this tagline and. It's first tournament is spelled wrong. Oh. Huh. You have apostrophe S instead of just ITS. Oh. And it's slowly driving me insane <laughs> as it scrolls across the screen. Oh, the marquee. I thought you meant their, uh, no, their no, attack. No. I was like, oh, oh, good. I'm glad I didn't do it. Oh, oh, yeah, hey, they messed up. God damn it. I know I'm the only person that th thinks this, but every time I hear burn to fight, I always think of uh, BBH's muscle power likes to take it slow video. <laughs> because, you know, he gets uh, Johnny Maxwell and he hits the shit, and then he says, round two fight! And it just makes you think, burn to fight, but said, like, really fast, like, the world here is perfect, like, round two. So, that's all I can think about every time I hear that. Nice. <laughs> I mean, at least, I, for a second, I thought you were going to say, feel the burn, and I was like, get off my show. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Keep politics out of it. It's all about BBH. Shout out to BBH, man. Yeah. But no, it was it was an it was an entertaining tournament. Um, I I can't wait for this game to get some action over here stateside, at least from uh, you know, at Evo. Hopefully, they'll have something to show. Yeah. 
I don't know. I want to. I just want to play that game real bad at this point. Because I mean, playing it the first time, it definitely feels a lot better in person than like watching it. Right. Yeah. Like I, I, I for sure changed my opinion about it once I actually got to play it. But that was actually oh, yeah. something that, um, that was actually something that somebody pointed out to me. It was like they said this game looks like it's probably really fun to play, but as far as watching it goes, it might be a little tough to sell. And that's I don't. T- I don't think so, honestly. Because I, I, at first, when when KI first came out, I was like, this game is, might be okay to play, but this game looks boring as hell. Mm-hmm. And then as time went on, uh, you know, it definitely got better, especially once Iron Galaxy took over. And it's like, okay, this is actually pretty cool to watch, you know. There's actual strategy. So, like, I think that for now it'll be weird, but as the graphics kind of get hammered out more, like with the filter and the way the background, like the characters will blend a lot less with the uh, surrounding environment. Right. And well, you know uh, that they're actually like, you know, pulling in people now, like younger people just to do graphic design or not necessarily younger people, but people specifically told that they're going to be doing visual stuff. The programming yeah, yeah, is already yeah. handled. They need guys that can do 3D design, 3D artwork. And so that gives me a lot of confidence that by the time it comes out in August, at least if it's not looking that much better, it can look that much better by the time they make an update. Because I don't see a reason why Kayla 14 can't have its revelator transition, you know? Like, it's yeah. entirely possible they should be doing that. I think everybody should be doing that. If there's something wrong with your game, like, aesthetically, and you've got the people to work on it, fucking work on it, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, well, I think with the time they have, if, if basically the rest of the game is complete and all they really need to do is work on the visuals, they've got enough time that they can make something of that. Exactly. There's like yeah. nothing else to worry about. I think uh, it just really depends on. I mean, because we don't know. Obviously, we've only heard some esti- like estimates from them about how far along they're. We don't know exactly where the the development of the game is, but if they're that far along, yeah, they've got enough time. So. I mean. So. Uh, I completely side note, my brother just gave me my mail and apparently Kaiser owes me $30. I don't know how that Ooh. happened. But... All right. Don't spend it on the all one place, man. Yeah, that's, that's half of your uh, KOF 14 purchase right there. There you go, yeah. baby. Thank you, Kaiser. <laughs> it's a sign from above. Kaiser wave. Pre-order that. Get that uh, <laughs> that classic kill alternate costume. That is, I love that shit. I am, I am glad that they are finally embracing alternate skins. Hopefully they give it to everybody else. I know they did it in 13 for like the sprites works and everything, and that must be a pain in the ass to just do for everybody. But damn it, like we need like marketable Terry. I don't care if he doesn't have breaking power dunk. Just put in a uh, wild wolf from uh, Maximum Impact. Oh yeah, wild wolf. Give me wild wolf, and we'll call that a, a skin change. Uh, you know, I just don't possible. see that happening. I mean. I don't either. I can wish. But in the meantime, regular Terry looks phenomenal. Honestly, I would be really cool with uh, Maximum Impact 2, uh, my alternate costume. Because she actually looks more like a ninja. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Well, are we really going to Maximum Ninja We can't. Hold on, yeah, hold on. Actually. <laughs> let's, let's, let's just do this really quick. So, once again, uh, we talk about this a lot. Our show has a lot of influence on what the devs do in their games and what they change. Uh, we complained last week a lot about my not being a legitimate ninja because she doesn't have an Azuna drop, right? Yeah. Well, guess what they did this week? They gave her an Azuna drop. <laughs> yeah. We did it. You're welcome, guys. We got, yes, we got Banderas' him. name fixed. We got an Azuna drop put in the game for mine. <laughs> give, give it a while. This game Clearly. is going to look significantly better. <laughs> we didn't both. Watch. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I Anything you guys want to happen with video games, fighting games in particular from Capcom, SNK, Arxis, Iron Galaxy, whatever company you, you want, let us know. We'll discuss it on the show. They're going to listen to us. It'll get taken care of. Don't worry. We, we got, got you. you. Maybe not taken care of in the way you want, but we'll take care of it. We'll, we'll do something. <laughs> and then we'll put our name on it and take all the glory. <laughs> <laughs> we now added Armor Ralph into the game. It's his new climax. Oh, boy. Stop that. <laughs> <laughs> climax. Um, but yeah, so, uh, I, 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 I have, I have high hopes for the game. Um, I think it'll be, it'll think, I think it'll do fine. I think real looks great. Real looks good. He's finally got Godokin. I don't know. I still think his fireball looks like it's either too slow or too much recovery. But the know. point it is lingers. it actually travels That's now. It travels now. It's basically Dan's Godokin. 
Like people well, say it was before. People say it was before. I had this discussion with people on Twitter like a week ago, and they're saying it's always been Godokin since like '96. And I'm like, no, you don't understand. Like it's actually like a half-ass projectile now. Nah, it just reminds me of a uh, zero power Rio from Art of Fighting One. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what it is. Just like, ugh, I'm out of energy. <laughs> Help. <laughs> I need to stand here and charge for a while. Quit kicking my ass, Jack. Except now he can't even charge it up. He can't even do it full screen. That's his C version. <laughs> yeah. So. But all we'll the characters look pretty cool. What yeah. they do with the game. Uh, hopefully they keep listening to us and roll with our suggestions because we, I mean, just all of us together, we have the best suggestions in the fighting game scene. Right? Oh, yeah, totally. I don't, I don't uh, see that. Sure, why not? why not? Yeah, God. see? It was a unanimous decision by the entire cast. Yeah. I, I Remember when I fixed a bunch of those fighting games I worked on? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, um, uh, uh, I'm pretty sure um, that one thing in Skullgirls nobody liked it got taken out. That was me. Wait, oh, yeah. Mike Z? Yes. yes. Oh, the Z is for Sanchez. 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 His name backwards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, uh, Guile came out last week. Yeah. Uh, we, we got to have fun looking at him last week uh, on the show before we, we closed down. And I think since then, it's been even more fun seeing yeah. him do things and seeing people complain about his damage output and his combos and his 30-second long combos in the corner, apparently, that Chris G can pull off in an online match. <laughs> yeah, it, it's pretty ridiculous, man. Like I, I don't think I've, uh, I, I don't think I've seen something like this. Not in Street Fighter, at least. It's, it, it's just pretty. I'm not against it, obviously. Like I play games where, like, you know, people have shit combos, and you make you want to quit the game immediately. Like, you know, yeah. that that that's what I live for. You know, <laughs> that's my crack. But in this case, I mean. I'm just kind of like, dude, th this is kind of ridiculous, man. For Street Fighter V, where nobody else can do this, like, even I'm feeling kind of dirty just watching this. I mean, Kyle's still not that great of a character. He's got the damage. He's got the, the cool combos. Yeah. He, he's got America. He's an well, amazing character. Yeah, duh. That's why I'm repping it all day. That's why I actually have switched to Kyle, and I'm really bad at him still, but, you know... I'm, I'm booming. <laughs> we, we be booming. Uh, I thought it was, it was going to be like zoning. <laughs> oh, man. Nah, no, no just... <laughs> Oh, look at this guy. God damn it, Chris. I know, man. I'm fucking up. Oh, jeez. Chris fucking up the intro during the show. <laughs> I forgot to close it. <laughs> That's actually a new record. That is... <laughs> Great. He messes up the intro so bad. He <laughs> I just tried to, so hold on, hold on, guys. I'm gonna try to do the intro again. Before the show so, ends. Just, you know what? Just leave it. Just, just, just let it go. You know, it's kind of weird watching myself like on like camera because I know I'm a pretty animated person, but seeing myself be like a fucking cartoon character all the time is weird. <laughs> <laughs> Being a we gotta get used to this, guys. This is how we're gonna make all that esports money. You know, they gotta see our faces now. Fuck that! I really hate face cam. Like for this kind of show, it's perfectly fine because it kind of helps people interaction. But when I'm watching people play fucking video games, I don't want to see anybody's fucking face. I don't give a single shit. I want to watch video games. So you watch basically what, what you're saying is they... the video games. The only time I want to see people's face is when it's in competitive and it's full of anguish. Like, that's the best time. The only time I want to see people's faces is when they forget to turn the webcam off. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Somehow I knew we were going to get there. I just... I mean, I, I definitely said we're not talking about webcams. Oh. But, hey. Good shit, Chris. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, Chris just, moving on. Chris, Chris just had to go for the slam jam. No, right? you know, the, the <laughs> best part about it is that there's actually two different things that this can be about. <laughs> mm -hmm. And we're not going to touch I'm either. I'm not going to touch either That's one right. of them. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the one thing that, you know, leaving your webcam on 
can do is uh, make you lose sponsors, right? right? Yeah, apparently. Yeah. yeah. It could be pretty nutty. Yeah, I guess. Um, Gibby's just like, thank God I fucking muted that air horn fucking much. So, oh, yeah, I definitely muted it. <laughs> Wait, did you? <laughs> yeah. God oh, damn it, man. <laughs> <laughs> Um, quick question. So we have like World Series of Poker and like and Twitch has like a bunch of gaming stuff, right? And like you know, does that mean that like I could like I bought this twenty dollars scratcher before the show today? Can I? Is this like gaming technically? Can I like play this on stream? My 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 chance to win up to uh, five million dollars. You can, you can gamble on stream. Me, they do it all the time. You're telling me you're playing something that's completely random chance, right? Yeah. I mean, people stream Hearthstone. Ooh. Oh, oh, you're right. I don't know, because that's, that's pay to win. I'm just paying to lose over here. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony, check it out. This, this is how I remember it working. The Twitch terms of service say, as long as it's legal within your state, you can do it on stream. I just Or where you I live. Just realized, as long as okay. it's legal. I'm, I shouldn't bring this up, but I just realized the one I bought is called Extreme Green. Fuck my <laughs> life. <laughs> And I was about to say, man, I saw that all up in Seattle, dude, over the weekend. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, man, people play shit on the fucking... I'm thinking about... Well, I'm not thinking about it, but I thought about it, like, playing Blackjack on Twitch, but, nah. I'm... I'm that'd be yeah. cool, though. Like, like, not like, like buddy poker. That'd be kind of better than just watching, like, competitive. Yeah, buddy like, poker would be fine. You just win, like, five bucks, five dollar buy-in or something. It'll be yeah. like my fucking former landlord who, like, you know, would bet, like, five hundred dollars a hand and shit, and then... You're like, uh, okay, here you go. We'll give you, here's the pot. We all fucking fold. Five hundred dollars? You kidding? <laughs> <laughs> that dude won like twenty k in a month and lost it all like in a week. And I was like, God damn it, I hate you, man. <laughs> I just I can't even look at you right now. <laughs> I should play this guy. Do it, dude. Like I want to watch you be a millionaire. No, no don't do it. <laughs> okay, look, stop. Don't do it on this stream. All right. In the event that is not good to do for the Twitch. We don't want the Spooky getting the, the boot. You're right. You're you know? right. I can't be doing That's right, because Spooky that. just got you, hooked up with a legitimate gig. The last thing you want to do is blow it up by scratching off some scru uh, fraudulent scratchers. Yeah, this yeah. is a, a fake one. It's a guaranteed one. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> mm. So, uh, over the past week, several players got picked up by new sponsors. Oh, yeah. I had a list, and the list is now gone because I closed that goddamn page because I'm an idiot. <laughs> but good job. good job. I know Julio is one of them. He got picked up by uh, the former Laker great Rick Fox and uh, his company Echo Fox. Good for him. Um, Marlon Pie left Broken Cure to go to uh, Panda Gaming, and I know so someone else Ray joined Ray also Panda, went to Panda Gaming. Gaming. Ray Ray, yeah. 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 Before so he what is that? Before? No, I thought I thought he was at this event at. What? Who? what? No, I, yeah, I'm pretty sure he was at uh, Northwest Majors representing. Who, Ray Ray? Uh, yeah. Yeah, he was there. Yeah, Ray Ray was definitely there. Yeah, so he should have been under the PG banner. Yeah, yeah, he was, and, you know, they didn't let him forget it when, you know, they said he got beat by a non sponsored player. Wow, that's, they really said that? I'm pretty sure they did. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, that sounds like stream chat. Yeah. Oh yeah, I thought I thought you meant commentators, but yeah. Okay. No, no, nah, please. <laughs> uh, it's looking like more companies are getting interested in picking up fighting game players because uh, last week was it last week or two weeks ago that Punko got picked up by Team Secret. Uh, these these three this week, and I know there was like another signing or two, but it's Street Fighter Five seems like the way to go. Street Fighter Five, son. Street Fighter Five. Yeah, Street Fighter Five. <laughs> well, except in Marlon Pie's case, he only got picked up for either Guilty Gear or Marvel. Uh, he got picked up because he was broken here, and he's broken. He's good at everything. He could wow. pick up Street Fighter Five and be good at that. I mean, I'm not mm. even doubting that. He probably could. He said he wanted to play KOF 13, but uh, <laughs> what happened to that, buddy? <laughs> Ooh. He didn't want to humiliate you, probably. Why would he humiliate me by letting me win repeatedly? <laughs> You're thinking of Air, not Marlon Pie. Oh, that's Damn right. Wow. I forgot. My bad. I mean, <laughs> Marlon Pie must be twice as easy as Air. Oh, Damn. wow. Damn. Damn. 
Chris can hold on to that one victory he ever had in KOF. Sir, 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 sir. What? In his defense. Two times. In his defense, it was twice, and he had two victories in KOF. He had Air, and then he beat Four Leaf. <laughs> On a pause. That's right, I did before leaf. That was nice. Hey that man, technicalities count. <laughs> oh, a win's a win, no matter how you get it. You're gonna get shit for how you got it, but still, you won. It. That's. I mean, that's yeah. you're right. You're right. Oh baby, Chris messing it up. I also won that one Southtown tournament that wasn't streamed. Oh, okay. So you mean it didn't happen? I mean, it happened. Yeah. I got the archive of it, but it wasn't streamed, so nobody gets it. No, it doesn't matter. No, like, I won a bunch of tournaments before, like, the internet was a thing, and nobody cares. Like, I can't even bring those up. Wait, are you doing all the What are you talking about? You blasted all our Arcade Infinity back in you know, the early 2000s? No. What, who, didn't you say you got top eight at EVO? Yeah, but that's that's recorded. It's documented. It's oh, footage. Sure. No, no, hold on, hold on. It's on, 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 on IGN, though? No, no, it's on YouTube. Uh, there, if you go in the back. Oh, okay. Just, just. Top eight at EVO, we know it didn't happen because you don't have a medal. <laughs> no, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have a medal now. Well, well, did Mr. Wizard actually send you a medal? Yeah, he did. <laughs> Holy crap. He sent me that. He sent me the Exerd, uh, you know, demo key, and he also sent me a medal. Watch, I'll even, I'll, I'll tweet it out. I'll take a picture of it. All right, <laughs> next to my sandwich. That's right, <laughs> Mr. Wizard, <laughs> man of his word. Ah, delicious sandwich. Speaking of Mr. Wizard. Uh, he recently just let a uh, tweet fly last night that caused quite a stir when he basically banned all coaching for Evo. That tweet has since been amended, where, or at least rather updated and clarified. And basically he said, beyond top 32, I want to say? Yeah, quarterfinals. quarterfinals. He said, beyond quarterfinals, no coaching. No coaching. Um, I and, honestly uh, always thought this was a rule. I didn't think it needed to be said. Yeah, I don't know. Well, the the thing everyone thought was a rule was no coaching during top eight, like on stage, no coaching. That's what everyone thought was the thing. And that's what I was usually. Most people are obviously looking at when you're looking at pools. You can't really enforce that as much, or not as easily, unless you're you know like us and we're just walking around doing nothing, looking for somebody like DDT through the table. I mean, there's no coaching, but there's definitely a no berating rule. Uh, is screaming it? and, uh, you know, distracting people. That's uh, the best part. Wait, that means DS can't broken. come to EVO this year? No, 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 you can. You can berate, right? It's, oh, it's okay, okay, okay. Yeah. There's, there's, there's a cap. There's an upper limit to how much of an asshole you can be. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this came about um, because, well, not necessarily because, just because of Northwest Majors, where we saw the, uh, the Ken Trinity basically all on stage at the same time. But... What if... Hmm? What, what if you like do the phone coaching thing, but like you know, it's like, oh, it's not, it's not my coach, it's my mom, it's an emergency, and like they change the she's name. On of, like, the she's, she's on her deathbed. She's on her deathbed, and she's telling me to wake up, DP. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, oh man, she, she's just uh wishing me uh, that you know I was at the funeral right now. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. The location behind players during tournaments on the West Coast has been looking like a story circle lately. I gotta say, like, that's a little, that's a, that's a little weird even for us. <laughs> like, like, maybe they got the book club going on over there. They're talking about the newest Oprah book they just read. Like, no, every time, yeah, that's like, now that you mention that, every time I see, like, all the <laughs> all the Ken players around each other, maybe they're not talking about the matchup, and they're just talking about, like, maybe that's when they stopped being little girls. And they started being little women! <laughs> 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 we'll just like there's, there's literally like five people behind. It. Like, we like created at any a team given couple time. weeks ago. They're like he had like five or six people behind him. Just like, can you coach yourself? Like, can you like yeah infiltration or like okay, yes. just bust out the notes? Be like, bam. Well, uh, so this is what Wizards said so far. So no coaching beyond quarterfinals, and the only coaching that's gonna be allowed is before and after a set. You cannot be coached during a set. And it has to take a minute or something, right? Like 60 seconds? Yeah, and someone someone asked him uh, if you could pull out your phone, and he said he said the phone should be okay. And then he, I guess, I don't know if the whole thing's a joke, but he said you got to put it in airplane mode. Phone should be fine. Uh, I don't know how to take that one. Yeah, because I, I mean... I think it was in response like, to Marn, so... You can get, like, texts yeah. or, like... like no, a, you go, I, go into Discord. Don't want this guy here, like, yeah, checking Discord out V-frames. 
I don't think they need to be going to Discord, man. Like, most of these guys need to go to fucking V-Frames and just figure out how the hell to play their character sometimes. Because it's just like, oh, I didn't know that was safe on block. Like, come on, man. That going to be the uh, the big old, like, stink this year? Performance enhancing, enhancing coaches? <laughs> oh, man. This guy knows too much tech and he's letting it all fly. I, I'm somebody who doesn't really have much of an opinion on coaching. Well, like, obviously, it's... There's a there's a point where that shit gets ridiculous, like we're talking about when there's like three guys on stage and they're basically just massaging the guy's shoulders, you know? Like yeah. nobody needs to see that shit. Are you just trying to get on camera? And I think legitimately some of these motherfuckers just try to be on camera because they didn't make top eight, you know? I don't think it's anybody yeah. that we're talking about currently, but I definitely have had my suspicions about people who are just like like are you are you just up here, man? You just saying yeah, like, hey man, I was should have blocked that shit. I would have blocked it if I was in top eight. <laughs> what well, uh, I want to use as a perfect example of coaching was uh, Ricky at Northwest Majors. Mm -hmm. She just sat there. That's it. Moral support is by sitting there. And Justin won. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's the kind of coaching you can get right there. She was just like, hey, so you're you're, you're doing pretty good. Keep it up. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember the tweet who did it, but they said there's no ban on telepathy, so you know, <laughs> you gotta send it. Dude, I still like my idea from this morning. You can't ban divination. I just got a pocket full of moose entrails in my pocket that I'm gonna casually drop on the floor and figure out what strategy to employ. See what Not, direction dude, they're you pointing. Like, yep. Mad distractions, you know. It's like, all right, I got mirrors, you know, and they're gonna shine lights. Like my buddy in the in the stands is gonna look cheat for me. I don't know. <laughs> He's going to use Morse code. I'm going to learn Morse code, and he's going to coach me via sound wave. <laughs> it's like, we're going to have the inventor of Morse code. Morse, yeah, Morse day code. and the time. You oh. have to, like, write it out. No yeah. pun from you. With your moves. <laughs> the reversal. All right. I know what to do now. See, I have actual small mirrors on the edges of my glasses frames. And Tony's gonna sit behind me in the first row of the audience, and he's gonna blink in Morse code when I should and shouldn't DP. <laughs> all right, you watch too much anime. All right, just gonna throw that out there. You I'm pretty sure that was an anime. episode of Get Smart. <laughs> <laughs> just that fucking shit. no. Don't don't break down. Get don't don't do that with Get Smart. They don't DP and Get Smart. All right. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> Maxwell Smart was all footsies. <laughs> yeah. He misjudged that last door in the ending, though, where he just saw like, what? <laughs> oh, my nose! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, like, so coaching is something that's ingrained in the scene. Um, some people were making the argument, like, where you, you want to remove coaching from professional boxing and MMA and whatnot. And I'm like, oh, well, okay, that's kind of valid. I mean, you know, in between rounds, you, you know, they say, hey, you're fucking up. Stop fucking up. You got 15 seconds left. Here, you know, take this steak, put it over your eye. Yeah, does that mean, like, in between rounds, like, there's no coaching, but can, like, someone walk up and, like, put Vaseline on my face? You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically, <laughs> man. It's like, you know, put that, that cold slab want? of metal on that shit, like, <laughs> apply it to your burn or something, you know? But I... If I'm if I'm sponsored by Red Bull, do I just be like, I need two Red Bulls right now and just start like breaking them like like, <laughs> like double Stone yourself. Cold on it. Oh, so, yeah. yeah, somebody just comes up and pours the Red Bull in your mouth while massaging your shoulder. <laughs> See, if they did that at Northwest Majors, people would be like, okay, obviously this is a team's effort, you know. I wasn't coaching. I'm not a coach. Or I'm even an like, advisor. I would have even expect. I would have even accepted that they went. They lifted up Julio, changed out the legs on his chair, and put new ones on, and sat him back down. That might have been all right too. <laughs> just while they're making just the weird sounds. <laughs> you know, like, you don't like shit like that. That would have been all right. But they're just sitting there going, "Oh man, you are, you are just dropping everything right now." Oh, I, I wouldn't have done coach. that. I need to speak to my lawyer. So please have David put down the headset and come over and talk to me and discuss what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> also, if you're a Ken player and you're in top eight and you're losing, don't take a call from Lupe Fiasco. Hmm. No matter how loud he yells on Twitter. I don't know, man. <laughs> was, I like it. I you think know, it's a funny joke. Like, somebody brought up the idea of, like, ways to cheat. By you know coaching, but doing it in reverse. Like you know how they ban coaching, right? Like what if you just unsolicited go up in somebody else's side and be like, yeah, man, you should totally like, you should totally start whiffing more low forwards, and then like you know you get that guy DQ'd, and he's like, who the fuck are you, man? It's like I'm that guy's buddy. <laughs> <laughs> no inverse coach. Yeah. Get him out of here. 
Like, just give him legit advice, but it's, you know, it's fucking frowned upon. That'll show him. <laughs> Got him. I mean, you know, we, we've we've uh, developed many ways to like, you know, screw oh, people. Oh man, you just you can just do that to win all the side bets in Vegas. Oh god, that would be yeah. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Yeah. <laughs> Pockets pick still a hundred percent, baby. <laughs> Chris just runs up. He's like, "Yo, I got I got fifty on that guy." Hold on, he just runs up. Yeah. <laughs> Hit him with your move. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh man. So yeah, so I so the, we'll, we'll still have coaching in pools, and I guess whatever happens after pools. But you know, people just gonna have to respect that you can't be on stage with your boy. You gotta let him, you know, stand on his own. Now, obviously, this in the future will probably be a much bigger discussion, especially as we said with these, you know, high-profile teams buying up players. Basically, uh, you know, you want those kind, you want that kind of presence there. And you kind of want them to be able to have some kind of impact on their investments. Like I'm sure Rick Fox doesn't want to pay for Julio to go to to Vegas the Evo, and then not even let any of his people like you know help him out. You know, that's just kind of like well, he might have just went there on his own anyway, right? Yeah. I don't think coaching is that bad anyway. I think I, I think the main thing they were worried about is that they don't want too many people on the stage that ain't production. That's a bad. Well, that's call. the thing is like to me honestly, as long as you limit it to one person, I don't really see. And you just give them a time limit between matches. You're like, all right, mm-hmm. you get one person and you get like say thirty seconds max or something, unless you know there's action equipment malfunction. Mm-hmm. One question there is, do you just get the one person that you choose, or can you keep swapping them out in between matches? I you get you one person. One. Yeah, you stick with one person. But what if it's, we have the Ken Consortium, like, what if it, for one match, like, I want to consult, you know, Chris T, but then for the next one, I need to know what Julio thinks. <laughs> Gotta send that signal out, man. Gotta give out the, the Julio signal, the T signal, the Brent signal. Or you could be like, uh, who was that guy that shot romance down for advice at uh, West Coast Warzone? Made him cry. Oh, Filipino, Filipino man. Yeah. Filipino. Oh man, that was the best. <laughs> yeah. See, that's what that that's that's probably another reason why coaching should be, uh, you know, regulated because sometimes random motherfuckers just walk up into your ear and be like, "Hey, man, like I got this really good idea. Like, get the fuck out of me, man." And not only that, you're not necessarily getting a good coach you know so they'd be like yeah dude like your problem is you weren't dping enough and it's like well i just got crushed counted three times and lost so uh, <laughs> fuck you it's like no 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 you got a dp on his wake up <laughs> oh. that'll show his ass <laughs> Do it that'll me. beat that that'll beat that wake up mash you're losing in two yeah that'll show him yeah, but like some unsolicited coaching always cracks me up because like how do we even know they're gonna even give him like advice about the game and not just try to switch like cellular companies? Yeah, right. He walks up and he goes, "Hey man, did you know that if you go to Subway, you can ask for the classic cut?" Oh, thanks, dude. Like, um, yeah. what? What, you, what you guys are talking about right now, uh, Chris? I'm sure you remember this. This is how I coach Chris. I'll walk up to him and I'll just say the dumbest shit into his ears. Yep. And he's just like, he's dumbfounded, like, the, the fuck? What? Huh? <laughs> yeah. Like, and then he wins. And I went up and just like, what the fuck was that? And you're just like, that you're welcome. And I'm just like, shit. <laughs> he's just like, maybe I should diversify my bond. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, like, like, this he literally shit? came up to me one year at NCR. He was like, yo, Raider Nation. I was like, what? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> right now? Uh, and then I beat him. Anthony uh, just walked up to the tournament. tournament. Alex, I feel like you're. Portfolio's looking a little thin right now. <laughs> Damn, he's right. Walks I, gotta, away. I gotta beef that up. See, my favorite thing would be just going up to Tony and just giving him advice that he can really use in match and in real life. You're like, you know, he's getting bopped. You know, he can't can't catch a break. Just like Tony, Tony, do you know that the little plastic bits at the end of shoelaces are called aglets and their true purpose <laughs> is sinister? Mm, you know, <laughs> yeah. never thought about that. Get those gears working in there. Yeah. Did you realize that it's Thursday? And Buffalo Wild Wings has 65 cent boneless wings. 
What? That's no, crazy. No. You can't. Hold on. Hold on. You can't throw him that far out of the match, man. Like I would. I would have just dropped the stick and been like, "Let's get the fuck out of here." Like, <laughs> it's Thursday now. Shit. I'm gonna miss my wings. He's like, "I ain't winning here, but I'm winning at Buffalo Wild." <laughs> Just break out. <laughs> like, Hold on, I gotta man. delay my set. <laughs> Go to Buffalo Wild <laughs> So sometimes that shit works, sometimes it don't. Uh, that's always the thing I've always felt about coaching, though. Because everybody talks about coaching when it when the guy wins, but what about all the times, like, right. nothing really happens? Like, when the guy's just like, oh, man, this dude spent three minutes talking to him about what he was doing right or wrong, and then it just went to shit. And and then everybody in the audience is blaming the coach. They're just like, "What the hell did you say to this guy? He was doing fine before you got in his ear." It, yeah, it's it's always a mix. Uh, they won or lost because of the coach. I mean, when the offensive coordinator tells Cameron to throw it when he should have ran, <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, <laughs> in my expert opinion, it's totally not a good idea to keep doing what works. You, you will figure it out, and then you will be out of options. We're gonna throw away the playoffs so that we can teach this guy something. <laughs> oh, well, that sounds like a shitty idea. <laughs> what about uh, heads investment? up while, while we're talking about this? I'm gonna start picking the names for the Overwatch raffle. All right, cool. And I hope I win. <laughs> Didn't you? Oh, wait, pre-ordered it. No, wait, hold on. hold on. Why am I doing this instead of playing that? I'll see you fuckers later. <laughs> <laughs> Stay focused. We got 12 minutes left. You're you're almost at the promised land. Nope, <laughs> too late. Game's running. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I played some Pokemon while I was on the show earlier. It don't matter. That's true. Let me go. Listen, I'm gonna do that. Battle right now. Man, it just keeps getting darker and darker in Gibby's house, and it's just more and more. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> what is going on? Like, at least I turned on the damn light. <laughs> Look, okay, hold on. So my light is like. Three feet that way. Okay, <laughs> I've got this heavy ass laptop. It's like a goddamn cinder block, five cinder blocks at least on my lap. I'm not moving. I'm gonna turn it on next time I start the show, and then I'm not gonna worry about it. It won't get too dark. It'll be bright as shit. I'm, there you I'm go. gonna go Gibby right now. It's dim, boys. I'm really but just look, expecting there to be a face like pop out behind you. <laughs> oh, that'll be perfect. I want. All I want of a sudden, that. Chris disappears from his camera and just appears on Gibby's screen. <laughs> God, it's a Bray Wyatt segment. What the hell happened to Tony? <laughs> Super Desperation my Radio. <laughs> We're here. Oh, this oh is Christ. God damn it. <laughs> so, <I'm> here. <laughs> so, th this isn't the winner. Yeah, this isn't the winner, but um, the uh, the PC copy, the Hound definitely just won. What? <laughs> <laughs> he always um, is. It's his. No. He's the one that donated it. <laughs> God damn it. Um, let, me pick, let me pick a different name. Hold on. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. <laughs> We're sorry, right, people. Oh, sick. Hey. Hey. The cameraman won. The cameraman? Josh. Uh, oh, Josh? Oh, wow, really? Yeah. All right. Finally paid Is off. He even here? <laughs> wait, wait. You mean Black Rose? Yeah. yeah, he definitely already has it. <laughs> Fuck. He has it. All right. Well, there. Since we know that much, let's Illuminati. <laughs> Try to all this collusion right failure. Fuck. <laughs> you know what? I'm half expecting Black Rose to show up somewhere on screen because that dude's always on fucking camera when I saw him. <laughs> uh, next, uh, Mr. Part, everywhere. Mr. Part Two, you have won. Mr. You still Park in here, two. Mr. Park? Oh man! Oh uh, no, it says he's not in here anymore. All right, so I guess my right. my list of people in this chatter is completely outdated. Excellent. Sick. Uh, well, while you're doing that, uh, I want to talk about the uh, Teespring Jonio San Mikado. Yes. Please. Takadano Baba. I'm, oh man, I'm probably saying that all wrong. T-shirt camp. Here, I'm gonna put a link in chat. You put up this link. You give it to people. So essentially, it's a Teespring to help uh, Mikado get uh, more of its uh, Japanese players out to America. Um, uh, it's only got ten days left, but definitely uh, check it out. Help them out. Uh, get your favorite players. Damn, Gibby. Why did Holy shit! Work? What do you want me to do with that again? Just put it up on screen. <laughs> 
But uh, so I definitely already got mine, and surprisingly, the color I chose is actually named Kelly, but it's green because I realize I have tons of red shirts and blue shirts, but I don't have enough green shirts. Uh, it looks very nice. Uh, but yeah, definitely go check it out. Help them out. Get your favorite players out to uh, you know America. Wear your shirt. It'll be really creepy if everybody wears their shirt on the same day and be like, "Hey, I helped you get here." <laughs> you <laughs> just gotta go like, <laughs> just follow them around. I get one free face touch. Okay, I bought the shirt. It's gonna, like, it's gonna be like the cable guy. Anthony's just gonna walk around behind him. I got you here. What have you done for me lately? Oh God. Yeah. If I don't get to like touch Majin Obama's face, like it's not good enough. I need. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Yeah, it's just kind of creepy in here, dude. Oh, Goddamn. Uh, ten. Take back everything okay. I said. There you go. Ten right. of clubs. Ten of clubs. I forgot which one I was getting giving away first. This is PC. Okay, so the PC one. Ten of clubs one. Ten of clubs. Congratulations. Yeah, ten of clubs. Ten of clubs. In here, ten of clubs. He, he just here. posted a minute ago, so he should. Okay, perfect. So it's in here. All right. So now. Big winner! Let's get rid of this here PS4 version. Uh, so the PC version was given to us by uh, Drew Redmage on Twitter. He is Spiron here on the, uh, the Twitch. He will DM you or PM you here on Twitch or whatever. He'll give you the code. I don't like handling codes. There's too many numbers and letters and it just confuses me. And I don't know what's going on. Next one, hold on, let me refresh this list again. Yeah. So the PS4 version donated to us by the Hound goes to FGC, uh, FGC Blue. This guy is awesome. FGC Blue. Yeah. I like this guy. Good job, why, man. Why, yeah, thanks why for winning are you doing the robot? Oh, why is he double? Chris, what are you doing? I'm all right. Don't worry about it. Congratulations okay. to FGC Blue. You're my boy, Blue. I'll be right back. So hey. FGC Blue. Uh, you won something. All right. Well, that's a that's a, that's a successful raffle. Uh, well, you can you can pick that up uh, later on. Um, Shit. Uh, I think that's all we had, except for some trailers, right? Because our boy. Wait, did we get, hmm? did we get the Alex trailer? Oh, we got something better. We actually have the anime Evo trailer. Oh, this guy just pounding it. This, that's right. Kill it, man. Chug, 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 chug. Go, Tony. That's right. Ah. Okay, that's what I like. FGC Blue says he doesn't have a PS4. Yeah, I know, I know. I mean, Shoot! Son of a bitch. I mean, I don't have a PS4 either. We, we can't <laughs> all be doing I have a PS4. Life. We can't all be PS4 owners, okay? I have Sex I mean, PS4. We should be. I have Sex PS4. I'm going to put Last Blade 2 on it. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> okay, okay. So, uh, Fifi, uh, Wyvern. X triple six mafia, you won this thing here. You got a P you have a PS4? <laughs> Better have a PS4, goddammit. Oh my god. <laughs> Just take the fucking code. <laughs> I really you know the, the, the Twitch Just delay fine. always makes this really hard. <laughs> yeah. <I know. laughs> Alright, cool. He's got a PS4. Sick. Oh, Alright. Alright, Hound, you know what to do. Alright. Congratulations. You're the best. Alright. I'm gonna play this trailer real quick. Sorry everybody that didn't win. I know how it feels to not win. And I wanna know how it feels to not win later too when I play this stupid track. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually the perfect intro for this trailer. <laughs>
down with the movement, you can roll with me, bitch. Roll with me, roll, roll with me. Roll, roll, roll with me, roll, roll with me. Roll with me, roll, roll with me. Roll, roll, roll with me, roll, roll with me. Uh, all my dogs just got a cop, yo, model gave me jobs. Send me flying up to LA just to buy by these cops. Cause I know it's always a lot, so I just cannot be stopped. If she ain't gonna fall back, then I'ma hit her with a rock. Cause I do more shots, kill them twice a scene. Shout out to the cute, I'm models always repping our team. Kids, I do more shots, kill them twice a scene. We gon' do it for the life, just keep on living the dream, yeah. That was pretty nice. Yeah, dude. I can't wait. Anime Evo staff are a bunch of great guys. They are the best. Some of the. Uh... I'm sorry. It just said best of the best, and I saw Aquapaz, and I. <laughs> for a moment. Hey, I did, I did enjoy that the the Nitro Plus Blasters footage was a, a saber mirror match. <laughs> <laughs> they wait. There are other characters in that game. Yeah, uh, they're all saber. Oh, Sonic saber. O for that cat jump mix up, right? I don't know. That's the only thing I know of is. Watching a Sonic O mirror and it being very loud. No, that's just that's just cute chubby cha- chubby saber. <laughs> oh, okay. So everybody's saber, like how everybody's Marth and Smash Brothers. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure Kelly can confirm. Yep, she's not here now. Nope. Well, she's dead. <laughs> <laughs> she would have confirmed were she here, mm-hmm. or alive, you mean? Yes. yes. Excellent. No. Mish shit. Oh well. We There's also another game. Undernight? Huh? Can we get Saber and Undernight then? Oh. <laughs> you know what? At this point, they might uh, want to do that since, they, since they're since they not seem to be doing anything with Melty Blood HD. You know? Hmm. Get yeah. Get Fred's ear. Make something happen, huh? Huh? Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, Give all ninjas as Una drops. Yes, all ninjas. Okay. Yes. All Anybody ninjas. got anything else? Uh, I want to bring up the Kickstarter for Rotten Core, which is an, actually known as Indiegogo, which you uh-huh. can go to at this address as soon as I get the link, actually. Um, I'm going to post that in chat. This is a uh, another fan-made fighting game. It's uh, very OG-looking in spirit, so... You know, I'll, I have a trailer for it too, but the trailer's like five minutes long, so I'm not going to play all of it. Yeah, we're not playing that. Yeah. No. Not the whole thing, or just a little bit? <sighs> I don't know. It's, it's five minutes, and how are you going to skim through five minutes? Do it. Do it. Let's do it. Let's just do it. Okay. It's, do it's, it, it looks do like it. a good, this is a good game. You guys are going to like it. It's good. Don't worry about it. I give you a good deal, buddy. Oh, God. I just saw a character. In this trailer. <laughs> I just want to get to the the baby bazooka part.
All right. So, yeah, I definitely remember, like, at least three of these characters from moving before. But I guess, uh, from this, what it says, uh, they're actually working with Electbite to help try and get this out. Oh, really? So that's kind of, yeah, that's kind of interesting. So, It looks really yeah. fun. I like it. They're definitely crazy characters in, in the game. They're, like, ridiculously good. You know, it's moving, so... But yeah, I mean, like, they're pretty cool animations and whatnot. So, you know. Mugen's becoming a legit product? Uh, maybe. I don't know. Um, I mean, I could definitely think that's a great step into the fighting game development to, you know, maybe learn the ins and outs and see what works, and then, then you realize, you know what? This stuff is really stupid, and I need to balance it a bit better. So, you know, <laughs> hopefully they've gotten to that point. I, I think, like, you know, well, to the point where, you know, you're basically asking for donations to make it happen, like, you have it in you to to make those adjustments, you know? Uh, even if it is a Mugen engine. And, like, you know, Mugen technically, technically has the ability to do so, it's just nobody ever bothers to. Yeah. You know, there's like, I'd rather just stick this pre-made character in here and see how they match up with the other pre-made character, and boy, I hope there's no glitches. <laughs> But, you know, uh, what I, I never get is like how people like they, they make like Street Fighter Two Guile, but they make him so arcade perfect for World Warrior that he has all of his like stupid like throws and shit. I'm like, man, these guys are really dedicated to making it arcade perfect. <laughs> I mean, World Warrior Guile is fucking Mugen in a nutshell, basically. You're Mugen in a nutshell. <laughs> Speaking of Boom! nut, Ooh! all right, weightless guys in the room. Yeah. We are over time, so let's uh, wrap this up. Anybody got anything else? Uh, nope. I think I've said my piece and then some. Um, Dreamhack this weekend. Dreamhack no is happening this weekend. I am going to be commentating it. I'm going to be there. That's right. My foray into esports begins this Friday. Uh, make sure you watch it. We're going to have pretty much everybody who is worth watching at a Street Fighter V tournament, be there, right? Yeah, that's right. Check it out. It's okay. going to be good. Uh, it's in Austin, awesome. so I'm going to be eating a lot of burgers and barbecue. Hmm. Sounds good. Anybody else? I'll take that deafening yeah, silence as a no. I think I'm good, yeah. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> oh, <All right>. <laughs> yeah, I was like, and there's the dog. <laughs> <laughs> so, thanks everybody for... Uh, listening to another, and I guess watching, another episode of Super Desperation Radio. So from everybody here, good night and good luck.